Hey guys, it's Sire from whatsupblog.com and I'm about to wow you again with the brilliance of the Flex Squeeze theme that we all know from the last video I showed you how to change a header but with Flex Squeeze you can actually have a different header for every page and I'm going to show you how easily it's done. First from the dashboard we're going to go to the media and we're going to upload the header that we want to use so we just click on add new and I'm going to change the header of my contact page. So we choose the file and okay find the file, contact me, that's the one I'm going to use. So we upload that waiting for that to upload Okay, there we go. So we need to grab the Earl of that particular file or image. And there's the Earl there. So copy that. Then we go into the page that we want to adjust the header. So we click on page. And it's the contact me page, so we click on edit. We bring up the page. Once we get to that, we scroll down to custom fields. There we go. We're going to add a new custom field. So we enter new, and it's called custom header. And then we Post in the size, or sorry, the Earl to the header, which is that. We add the custom field. All right, and then we go to load up the contact me page. So we'll click on that, and hopefully we have a new header just for that page. And there we go. So I just have to change the size of the header. So we go back to, so we add a new one again called custom header height. I need to change this because this header is actually a different size to my custom header. So this one's actually 150 pixels, so we change that to 150. And we add that field. And then we go back, and if we reload that page, it should fit in perfectly now. There we go. Okay, let's try that one more time. Um, we'll upload another one, just make sure everything's working swell, because this is new to me, I've just been playing around with it now. So we'll add a new file. And this time I think I'll choose file and let's see, advertise here. KPG, because I want to put a different header on my advertise here page. And this is great because you can virtually have a header that suits whatever the subject of your page is. And it just adds more value to that page. So this is a brilliant idea for any blogger. Okay, so get the advertise here. We need the Earl for that, so click on edit to grab the Earl. And there it is there, so we'll just copy that. And then we go to pages. And it's going to be advertise here, so edit. Okay, then we go to custom field. We're going to add a custom field for this page. Okay, so we enter new and it's custom header. And we put the Earl in there. Okay, and we're just going to add the custom header height because I know this one's 
this the same as the one I just uploaded before. So it's custom header height. Okay, it's got a value of 150. Okay, we add that. And then we're going to go back and see if that worked. Okay, so it can be my advertise here page. And there you go. So uh, that's fine if all my other pages will have the normal header, except for those other pages that which I'll be changing as I go along. And that's how easy it is to have individual header for individual pages. And this is a great idea. I hope you liked that little tutorial, guys, and uh, can't wait to talk to you again next time. Have a great one. See you then.